Hey friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is HTML full tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is a part 2 of the series. In the part 1, I covered about the introduction. I gave you some answers to the frequently asked questions and also we saw some really really basic things about HTML. Today we'll continue building on the basics because the stronger you have your basics and the foundations, the easier it would be for you to start learning and start writing code in HTML. That being said, let's get started. This is the part two of the series. Uh, if you have missed out the first part, please do check it out. It will help you in having continuity in your learning. All right, so before I start with today's basic, uh, I'll just touch base on whatever we did in last episode so that you have much more better understanding. All the HTML pages that we will create will have an extension of .html. Right, you can create it anywhere in the system. Okay, you can create it anywhere basically, just create a folder or you can create it anywhere. And how do you run it? Just open it, reveal it in your folder, and you can just do right click, open with browser. So it would open up your web page. Right now, we don't have anything, so it's an empty page. Remember, you can give any name to the file name, which is in this case, I've given index.html, but you can give any uh, HTML name. You can give any name that you would want to use in your file name. Let's say home.html or products.html or anything for that matter, doesn't matter. Okay, so that I hope that is clear. Um, so I'll just quickly make uh, the file extension. The file extension has to be dot HTML so that way your browser will know that it's a HTML file. Um, you can give any name, any name to the file with an extension .html. Okay, uh, save it anywhere on the folder, anywhere in your system. Doesn't matter. There is no server as such, or there is no particular path that you need to upload. You can save it anywhere and just open it in browser. Okay, or you can double click to open it as well. To open okay these are the basic things that you should know right okay so I hope this till here it's clear <coughs> and now let's go to the today's part which is continuing that learning part so all the HTML documents must must start with the document type declaration okay so if any web page that you open of any any website any website so sh will have a first line which tells the browser what kind of page that is rendering okay it is for the browser to know what data it has to render okay if you see here it says doc type HTML that means you're telling that this page is HTML okay now I'm going to show you a real-time example if you open google.com and then right click and say view page source that's how you can see the page source of any website okay so you see here even Google uses doc type HTML okay similarly not only Google any web page that you open will have this first line as doc type HTML. So let's go ahead add it in our file that we just created doc type HTML. Okay, there is no closing tag for it. It's just one line which says doc type is HTML. So this tells the browser that the file that you are going to render is a HTML. The HTML document itself begins with HTML and ends with HTML. The visible part of HTML document is written between body and closing body. Okay, so I'm going to touch base this on this little bit, but first I'm going to talk about tags. Okay, so in HTML, what are tags? Right, what are tags in HTML? Right, so I told you that HTML stands for hypertext markup language. Okay, markup language because everything is written in tags like this opening tag and closing tag. Okay, now similarly, if you open any HTML, they will have the tags or the elements. Okay, the element is written inside the opening tag of opening bracket and then closing bracket. Okay, now remember one thing not all elements will have a closing tag, not all elements will have closing tags, but most will have closing tags okay I'll show you an example of it okay remember this the, we write it in the tags okay this is called a tag okay now we write the elements inside this tags now 
coming back to our application if you see we have written an opening tag here but we did not close it so doc type doesn't require closing tag but most HTML elements will require you to have an opening tag and a closing tag the HTML document will always begin with HTML opening tag HTML closing tag whatever code we will write whatever web page we will write we will write inside this brackets okay now HTML will have structure we will have a head section and we will have a body section okay these are the basic tags that you should know so remember any web page that you create HTML should start with doc type telling the browser what document you're rendering then you will have a standard structure of HTML followed by head followed by the body okay anything that you enter inside the body okay this is my first HTML page save it and then go to your browser you don't have to compile you don't have to do any um, composition or in terms of compiling or anything you, all you have to do is just refresh the page so you see here our first output is this is my first HTML page now see now I'm writing this is the head section in HTML now I want you to see the difference okay though it is printing though it is printing we write this we use head for mostly including of scripts importing of styles metadata all that the visible part of the web page we write it inside the body okay this is more like for title title is my first HTML now title if you see here right now it says index.html but now it says my first HTML so that's the title tag so remember the structure HTML followed by head tag followed by body tag whatever data we see in the browser is written inside the body tag head is mostly for the metadata or the information or including the CSS JavaScript etc okay for today all you should know is only these simple things you should be able to create a HTML page with doc type HTML you should be able to create a page with opening and closing HTML tag then you should be able to add a head head tag then you should be able to add a body tag add some content in it okay and save it and when you go to page refresh you will see the same output what you have written inside body okay this is a standard structure for everybody for you for me for Google for Microsoft any company that you talk will have the same structure if you want to check them out the way you can do is so remember these I told you what are tags tags are nothing but the elements that we write inside these are called tags okay opening and closing tag not all elements will have closing tag but for now remember that most will have okay in our case all of this has a closing tag opening tag closing tag opening tag closing tag here of head okay all right so next thing how do you see view source okay source code of any website of any website now when I say source code I only mean by HTML okay so if you go to google.com right click and you will see inspect element if you are in Chrome browser okay if you are in Chrome you can go to view inspect inspect element and you can find all the details similarly if you are on Firefox you would have the developer tools okay and in edge also you have developer tools so all of them provides this debugging facility so now right click and say view page source right now this is a lot of code here so we can't really read it out but if you want to see a cleaner version of it right click inspect element and here you can see even Google is following the same structure they have doc type HTML then they have the HTML opening tag they have the head tag then they have the body tag right so this is common for everybody for you for me for any website that you design will have this structure okay 
that being said um, that's all I think we have to we covered some basic tags right um, HTML opening tag closing tag head opening head closing body opening body closing whatever content we write the visible part of HTML document is inside the body tag and in the head section we will use it to include scripts styles meta information okay that's all you should know at this point of time in this episode we will keep building on it I hope you are following it I hope you I'm covering all the basics so that you can get started if there is any difficulty if you are having any issue do let me know in the comment section I'll be more than happy to address them also feel free to reach out to me at my email address which is surya.aradhya at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to answer them thank you so much for joining in this episode I'll see you in the next episode where we will learn about the elements in HTML and that's where we start learning all the tags that are available in HTML practice this do let me know if you face any issue thank you so much remember I'm here to help you and together we will learn together we'll grow thank you